so hydrolysis of nitrile gives acid and hydrolysis can be done in acidic as well as in basic medium as well as in basic medium so let us consider mechanism of hydrolysis in basic medium in basic medium so we have nitrile we have oh minus in aqueous medium and we have to derive product using the mechanism this carbon has positive charge because nitrogen is more electronegative it will have negative charge so this bond is polarized so cn bond is polar so oh minus can act as a nucleophile so first step of mechanism we have that is nucleophilic attack of oh minus so oh minus can attack over this carbon and this bond opens so we will have imine anion as the product in the next step this imine anion can be protonated by water so next step we have that is imine formation that is simply protonation so it can take a proton from water and it can form imine so this step is imine formation now in the next step this imine can tautomerize so we have tautomerization so this hydrogen can go to the nitrogen so this step is tautomerization so now we have a amide so tautomerization step is simply amide formation now amide can be hydrolyzed to give acid first step is attack of oh minus on this carbon so next step is nucleophilic attack of oh minus on carbonylic carbon so we have amide oh minus can act as a nucleophile so we will have a tetrahedral intermediate so this is tetrahedral intermediate now in the next step 
this tetrahedral intermediate can possess NH2 group that is O minus will push this NH2 group. So basically this step is removal of NH2 with a negative charge. Now we will have acid plus NH2 minus. Now we will have acid base reaction. So finally we will have RCOO minus plus NH3. So this is nothing but acid base reaction. Now if I acidify this salt, basically we will have NaOH. Initially we can take NaOH in place of OH minus that is Na plus OH minus. So this OH minus is coming from NaOH. So we will get salt of acid O minus Na plus. So this means if NaOH is used we will get sodium salt of acid. Now this salt can be acidified to give acid. So next step is acidification of salt. So we have sodium salt of acid and this can be acidified. So finally we will have acid. Now important point is all these steps are reversible. That is, acid can react with NH2 minus to generate this tetrahedral intermediate, and this tetrahedral intermediate can lose as OH to generate amide, and amide can tautomerize to give imine, and imine can lose as H plus to give imine anion and imine anion can further form nitride. So all these steps are reversible. So we can say basic hydrolysis of nitrile of nitrile is reversible in nature. So hydrolysis of nitrile can be used for preparation of acid. So we can say hydrolysis of nitrile can be used for preparation of carboxylic acid. For example, let us say if I have this problem, we have to convert alkyl halide to acid. Now how will you do this conversion? You see, in this case, there is increase in one carbon. So initially we have R group. Now we have R group and we have one extra carbon. So there is an increase in one carbon. So whenever there is an increase in one carbon, we can use nitrile method. So first we will treat this alkyl halide with KCN, CN minus will act as a nucleophile and Br will act as a leaving group. So this is simply formation of nitrile. In the next step, we will hydrolyze 
so we will have acid so whenever you have one more carbon you can use nitrile method for example if I have to prepare this compound that is acetic acid using methyl chloride how will you do that and again reaction is same first you treat with NaCN you will get alkyl nitrile and then you do hydrolysis so in this lecture we discussed about hydrolysis of nitrile and hydrolysis of nitrile is reversible it can be done in acidic medium as well as in basic medium in the last we said nitrile can be used for preparation of carboxylic acid it generally gives one extra carbon from the corresponding parent length parent chain carbon length this means if you have two carbon you use neutral method you will get three carbon acids of three carbon that is one extra carbon 